Hello, this is Mr. Vaughn with video lesson 2.1. That's chapter 2, lesson 1. This uh, chapter, or this, the lesson is about converting decimals, uh, between decimals and fractions. So decimals into fractions, and then fractions back into decimals as well. Well, uh, you should have this uh, note out in front of you, and you should also have your workbook open to k your California math book, page 90 and 91. I'll be referring to those as well, and um, feel free to rewind if you miss something, um, or watch the whole thing again if you'd like to. So you're filling out the blanks as I'm going. This note, um, I did a lot of the examples for you on notes. Uh, uh, later on, you'll be doing more of the examples along with me. So you should have this out, and then you should also have this page right here, looking at that page. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so like I said, we're converting between decimals and fractions. A little bit of vocabulary first. Um, I'll just mo I'll circle or motion, put some kind of line or something to the area of the note where I'm talking about so you know what, you're, what I'm referring to. So this vocabulary is rational number. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. So, write that on there. Any number that can be written as a fraction. Your textbook has a little bit more details. Decimals like uh, 25 hundredths, 15 hundredths, etc., can be written as fractions with denominators of 10, 100, 1,000, and so on. Any number that can be written as a fraction, fraction is a rational number. Um, later on, you'll learn about irrational numbers, but just you know, get familiar with that term a little bit rational number. Um, moving on from there, onto the meat of the matter. Decimals into fractions. So, use a place value chart. Place value. Hopefully you'll have a little bit more room. Um, place value chart. The last digit's place value name becomes the denominator. Denominator. I need to make that a little bit smaller. Um, and a tour. All right. So uh, there's a place value chart here on your notes, um, and we'll go over this a little bit more. But the decimal point is right here. Everything to the right of the decimal ends in a th. That's a part of a whole. Sorry, ths. Everything over here on this side ends in an s. Those are holes. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands on the left. Tenths, hundreds, thousands on the right. So hopefully that's review for you. Let me get rid of those. Don't need those. Take a look at these examples here. So 6.6. .6. The proper way to say 0.6 is 6 tenths, right? Because you, this is one place after the decimal. You go over here. One place after the decimal is tenths. So you would say, how many tenths do you have? I have six tenths. Well, that kind of sounds like a fraction, right? That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Say it out loud, and it'll sound like a fraction. Six tenths. If that can be simplified, go ahead and simplify it. Three or Two can go to both of those numbers, so it simplifies to three-fifths. Lots of times I'll write over the words that are on there just so you know what I'm referring to. Here's another one. 0.45 is how most kids and adults say it. The proper way to say it is 45 hundredths, right? One, two places over. So you go up here, and we're one, two places over. Now we're in the hundredths. How many hundredths do I have? I have 45 hundredths. So you say the f decimal the same way you say the fraction. 45 hundredths, 45 hundredths, and again, you can simplify that to 9 twentieths. Okay? So that's decimals into fractions. What about the other way around? Um, fractions into decimals. If you can get the denominator to 100, I'll switch back to red because I'm doing all the vocabulary in red. Make that a little bit smaller. Um, get the denominator to 10, 100, 1,000, etc. Denomination, denominate, a tour. You guys know what I mean. 10, 1,000, 10, 100, 1,000, etc. So what do I mean by that? Well, we have 9 twelfths here. And I want to make that fraction into a decimal. So uh, can I get 12 to 10, 1,000, 100, or 1,000 easily? Well, not 
really easily, but I can do it using a bridge like we did in chapter 1. So if I want to get to 100 over here, I can take the 12, divide it by 3, which equals 4, do that same thing on the top. So this is just like a little ratio table, right, with fractions. Then I can scale the 3 fourths up to 75 one hundredths. 4 times 25 equals 100, and 3 times 25 equals 100. Now I've got something that I can work with. T 75 hundredths, hey, that sounds just like a decimal. Hundredths place is one, two places over. So um, if I was to write this, you know, fresh, I would go like this. One, two places over, tenths, hundredths place. How many hundredths do I have? I have 75 hundredths. Okay. Um, if you can't get to 10, 100, 1,000, etc., divide. You want to try to avoid this because it's a little bit hard to, it just takes longer, right? So um, you have this as an option here, 9 twelfths. Instead of doing the bridge and getting to 100, you could divide uh, the numerator by the denominator, which is what we did in the last chapter. Hey. Now you know I wanted you to do chapter 3 first, 75 hundredths. You get there both ways. So, quick review, decimals to fractions, look at the place value, write it with a 10, 100, 1,000 on the bottom, then simplify it if you can. Fractions to decimals, try to get it to 100, 10, 10, 100, 1,000 on the bottom, so you can convert it into a decimal easily. If you can't, then you must do the division. Go ahead and try the your turn problems at the bottom. We'll go over the answers in class tomorrow. And please make sure to write your summary. Thank you for listening. I will see you in class.